for the statistics widget, let's switch over to the reviews by source sheet. On here, we see two stats widgets. Let's look at one of the existing stats widgets by double clicking. In here, we see that the aggregation is by brand and model, aggregating by the number of values, which essentially means it is counting each record. If we want to edit this, we can select the text and click the Edit Statistics button up here. In here, we can then select a different column or a different aggregation. We can also add another statistic within the same widget by doing the following. We click our cursor and then add a new statistic. So let's try adding a new statistic widget. First, we select and drag over a stats widget from the side panel. If we selected the stats widget from the widget panel, we will be asked to choose which data set to use. Here we have three options. The first and the third are data sets containing both the printer reviews and images, whereas the middle one is a data set with just printer images. So we can choose either the first or the third for the stats widget in order for it to function properly. We'll just choose the first option. Next, let's double click to open the options, and then let's add a statistic. Let's choose the column brand and model. And let's have this stats widget show the printer brand and model for our drill down selection. We can automatically add a label to this widget by clicking the checkbox and then modifying whatever we wish. Now what we see is that the brand and model stats widget is displaying the first record in our unfiltered data set, which could be a bit confusing, so we'll want to go back in and change that setting. We can select the stat with our cursor and edit this. And since we don't want to see any unfiltered records, we will be checking this checkbox here. Now we won't see any unfiltered records. But usually it helps to signal to the user that there will be data to show in this widget once we make a selection. So, instead of leaving this blank, perhaps we can write a brief message like not selected or none, or we could place uh, some symbols to indicate that there's no value selected yet. And if we want, we can change the font while we're in here. And maybe change this to boldface. Finally, we need to ensure that this stats widget can update with our selections on this sheet. So we need to apply enhanced drill down. In here, 
we see that the only inputs we would need for the stats widget would be from a user selecting a printer from the trend graph or selecting a text record from the cards widget. We can see that the trend graph already has a blue flash, so its selections will already be updating all of the components on this sheet, including this new stats widget. The only thing we would want to do is add a connection from the cards widget to the stats widget. To see that this works properly, we can publish our report and open it. Now we can check the interactivity, filtering by review source. We see that this changes the the graph, the cards, and the green stats widget, but the blue stats widget stays the same, and there was no selection for the brand and model, so that did not update, which is what we expect. Next, we can check what happens when we make a selection from the trend graph. we see that all the stats widgets adjust accordingly. We see the same if we select a single record from the reviews cards widget. 